ko hika roro o te mauka, ko waiko eiti te awa, ko Pukataraki te marae. Uh, my name's uh, Brendan Flack, um, we're here at uh, Pukataraki Marae. As tangata whenua uh, in this area, uh, we have a responsibility of, of um, guardianship of kaitiakitanga, the fisheries and any of the creatures that are here. The symbolism of a dolphin adorning our whare is one that, you know, the right message. It's a place of, uh, place of learning and, a, and a, a, you know, a peaceful place. New Zealand endemic dolphin has many names. Hectors, Maui, Popoto, Pahu, Tupopo, and these names were often regional depending on the, the iwi or the hapu. We only have these dolphins here in New Zealand and they're a member of a genus, of a group of four species. Um, and the fact that only found in New Zealand, of course, gives us um, this huge privilege. That gives us then also a responsibility to look after it. Some of the fishing methods that we use in shore, including gill nets and trawling, are a serious danger to these dolphins. Well, we have all these wonderful laws in New Zealand, but no one's policing them. There's a set net ban up to four nautical miles off the coast, and there's a no trawl ban two nautical miles off the coast around this area. And we know that trawling and set netting is hap happening in these areas, and we know that that's the biggest threat for these dolphins. So if we can get out in the lockie and patrol those waters, I'm more than confident that we're going to expose some of these illegal activities. So if we can work with the local authorities on these matters, I'm sure we can make some change. Sea Shepherd has decided to make it stand in the south. We can make a difference here because we know that New Zealanders care about these dolphins, we know what they mean to all of us, and we don't want to let them go. We don't want to let them go the same way as other inshore dolphins have gone around the world, and we don't want to let them go the same way as Maui and the North Island are going. <laughs>